Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a really rare custom British plane. Number four size. I use it all the time. One of my favourites. This is my Preston number 14. So it's number 14. It's by Preston of Birmingham. And I rebuilt this. That's my lever cap there. Uh, I rebuilt this a long, oh, a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. There's a great number of photos. If you're really interested, there's a load, load of photos on Instagram. That's my Instagram account, jam.73e. But in the stories, there's a, in the highlights, EP Custom 14. It'll show you all about this plane. So when I originally got it, it was just a base and a cap iron that was rubbish. This still isn't quite perfect. I've still got a bit of flattening to do there in the mouth. But I use it, look, it's got candle wax on the bottom. Uh, it's got this weird hole here. So if anybody has any idea why it would have a hole there, I don't know why. But it's been, it's been lapped. It's beautiful. Um, the knob and the handle are out of walnut. I made them um, from a special piece of walnut. And as I say, on the Instagram there, you'll see all the details about it. The frog is great. And these are the original colours. In fact, in the photographs, it shows the old handle um, when I've moved it. And I matched up the colour absolutely spot on. So this is what a genuine number 14... <laughs> Preston would have looked like that green and that red um, because it's made up out of parts just a few bits and pieces um, I put a custom blade in Ray Isles um, which is great I used a record cap iron the reason I used a record cap iron is because Preston ended up being record so that thing deserves to be there what I did to this though this was angled and weird I square on the corners I actually shaped that to mimic the blade there so that they look good together. Um, this is a stainless steel one, um, which I've had custom done. Um, and it's just beautiful. Polished edges. So all the edges down here are polished and smooth. Look at one of my previous videos, shows you how to do that. Take all of these sharp edges off and make the plane comfortable Beautiful to look at, but comfortable to sharpen, comfortable to use, so that you're not cutting your fingers or anything. This, this top edge here, if you look carefully, you can see I've dovetailed a piece in there. Not just that. Around here, this is a piece that I've added. The front was broken off. I haven't done a brilliant job. It's not bad. It's survived. It's still good. Paint's coming off a bit, so I'm not very good at painting. Um... But it is a dream to use. The, the handle is a cross between a pre-First World War Stanley and a record. And it fits beautifully. And I've rounded the back over here, which is more like the Norris. I've got a couple of Norris, Norris planes up there. So this, this fits beautifully in the hand. And it's just, I've been using it today and it's just a dream to use. So I thought I'd just share this with you. It doesn't have to be Lee Nielsen. It doesn't have to be Veritas or, you know, Preston were brilliant. And that base is fantastic now. Yes, it took a bit of work. Yes, it's had a couple of issues. But I'd put that up against any any expensive new plane. It's brilliant. Let me know what you think. Um, if you can get on Instagram and see it, that would be great. You'll be able to go through the pictures. Comment on here. Comment on Instagram. It'd be great to get some of you guys following but what do you think doesn't she look great she is just marvelous to use and when you get on so well with your plane and when you know so much about it and you strip it down and make all the parts work you can bring the level of that plane right up to world class i mean it really is beautiful if you look at the mouth sorry about the light flickering if you look at the mouth you can see it's got a tiny mouth on it um, not very big at all. And yeah, the bottom's not, not brilliant yet, but I'll work on it a bit more. It's got a couple of funny little things going on. But for me, for me, the favourite and uh, the blade I've just done 
Oh, it goes into another plane. That's another story. That's another story. Hope you like it. Go on there and have a look at it. You'll, I'll, you'll be blown away by the before pictures of all of this. Catch you soon. Cheers.